there's really no safe like Simply Safe. Last week, I started making progress on Marie's bedroom, which is the first bedroom in my 1920s home that we are starting the renovation and makeover process of. I created this mood board for the space, really honing in on the warm tone since it does face a red house. Now I'm painting all of the trim, this really pretty tonal color that I matched with our plaster color, which is from Meoded in the shade Warm Suede. I started the first coat of the plaster last week and shared a sneak peek at some of the furniture pieces that Lulu and Georgia sent over, which are just stunning and I'm excited to jump back in. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to work on Marie's bedroom this week, but I'm also so excited because look how good the office looks in this clip. This looks like a painting. I'm like, this looks like a framed piece of art right here. I am just so happy with the way the office looks. We're heading back into Marie's bedroom today, but I kind of wanted to just address a couple of comments in um, the last couple of makeover videos because I've been seeing so many comments asking if I can do full makeover videos from start to finish again within one video. And I really would love to do that because that's how my videos always used to be. It would be one video where it shared the entire process. But I have to say that when I did those videos, a lot of them were rental friendly makeovers, which I do love mixing here and there on my channel. As you guys saw recently where I did my manager's office and then also my friend Trevor's space, those were both renter friendly makeovers that I just kind of added in. But here in my own home, since I did purchase this house, I feel like I have so much more creative freedom with the rooms. And a lot of times the rooms are taking me like two to three weeks up to a month to finish of actual working like every single day from the time I wake up until the time I go to bed. And it's like Justin, I, and then sometimes Marie's also in the mix, plastering walls sanding things down and so for example in this video we're applying the second coat of plaster and some other steps I'm sure but it's gonna be a week of work that doesn't show the most ever before and after but I would love to post something for you guys still in the meantime you know so I just wanted to mention that um, that that's why some of the videos are kind of broken up into sections and that's just because some of the processes are taking just a little longer and I've really been loving kind of documenting these videos more on a vloggy basis kind of like sharing the process of the rooms in real time and as they're coming together. And I thought I hit on that a little bit because I do know that some of the videos have kind of been broken up a little and I'm trying to make them super like cohesive in terms of how to watch them on the channel. So organizing them and such on the back end. Before diving into Marie's room, I also want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, which is Simply Safe. And you guys know that I love and adore Simply Safe. They have been a long time sponsor here on the Lone Fox channel for probably like four years now. And I have also religiously been using my Simply Safe for the same amount of time. I absolutely love the feeling of knowing when I'm away from my house that I first of all can check my phone, look and see like in my home through some of the HD camera sensors for every single door, every window, HD cameras for indoor, outdoor, glass break sensors, water sensors, so you truly are covered. And Simply Safe has the only indoor camera known as a smart alarm indoor camera that can instantly trigger the alarm and deter intruders with a built-in siren and live two-way agent audio. But I really love how you can see the live view through the app on the camera so if you're away you can check if you really wanted to you can see your animals inside but also as you guys know I'm a collector of lots of antique and vintage items that I need to stay safe in my home so I just feel like it gives me that reassurance that my house is always protected and you get simply safe for less than a dollar a day which is such a bargain compared to some other home security systems not to mention the setup process and the actual ordering of the system is a breeze they have streamlined it so simple and easy literally simple Simply Safe. And the other thing I love about it is the actual design of the Simply Safe is really chic. So it just looks nice in your home wherever you set it. Plus, there are no long term contracts. So if you're not satisfied, you can head out if you'd like to, but you're going to absolutely love Simply Safe. And if you'd like to give it a try, definitely use my link below, which is simplysafe.com slash lonefox. You can save 20% on your Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring using my link. So just tap that link. It'll give you all of the info. It's at the top of the description box below because there really is no safe like Simply Safe. We have quite a bit of work ahead of us, some plastering to work on. So let's get started got the second bucket this morning and this should finish off the room because we were able to do the first coat with the first bucket and this is a second so we got the same exact color and if you are wondering the color this is warm suede and you can ask for that color in any of their products and this one's the marmarino paladino which i will put right here for you and a link in the description box below wearing these they have paint on them but it's because this process is actually messy and as you can see it gets on you, so make sure that your clothing that you wear is not something that you want to have seen. So 
if you recall from the first coat of plaster, there were quite a few scrape marks in the plaster because there's actual aggregate and marble dust in this plaster. So you could see like minerals and kind of like a rock stone like finish inside of it. So it kind of scrapes on the first coat, but your second coat will actually go through and fill in all of those cracks and you get quite a smooth finish. I'm doing a check-in. As you can see, we have a good majority of this wall coated with the second coat, and the second coat is much smoother. It's probably hard to tell, but it actually is very, very smooth if I go to the side angle. Definitely smooths out. All the cracks get filled in, which is something that I was mentioning in the first. But after this is all completely dried down, we're going to go back and do a light sanding over the top of it so we can kind of control how it looks a little bit. But we're going to go through, finish this up. It's really hard to see on camera. And as it dries, it should start kind of creating a little bit more movement because as you can see, it seems a little flat, but then over here, there's some nice movement in the wall, so as it dries, it should start creating a little bit more movement like this. On your second coat, you're gonna want to actually burnish the product pretty hard, meaning that you're going to press it into your first coat and then kind of scrape pretty hard. And that's what creates kind of the textural movement that you see when the light hits it. And then when it dries down, you actually can kind of see that difference in color as well. But if you do have some imperfect edges, you can go back after it's a little bit dried down and use a wet sponge like this and just kind of tone down any of those edges, especially on any corners or archways. The sponge really works super well to get those smoothed down but I will say that we did go in and spend an entire day sanding down this room because I wanted it to have like a super smooth stone polished like finish. So now that the walls are sanded, we wanted to go through and use some clean rags to just wipe down any of that dust prior to sealing. And we did this two times around. So went through and wiped down all the walls once, let it fully dry down, and then went back through one more time and just cleaned off all of that dust. Look at the walls. They look incredible. I am absolutely so happy with the outcome of this room. But oh my gosh, you guys, the amount of work Justin and I have put in here over the past couple of days, like it might have seemed like it's been like a day since, but we actually sanded down these walls for two days straight, like sanding them down. So they were so, so smooth because the finish I wanted to achieve was the exact finish on the swash card, which you can totally leave it as is, which gives it more of like a textural sandy finish. But I really wanted a super smooth, like stone, polished stone like finish. And I knew if I needed that, I was gonna have to go with the sanding machine. And so that's what we did. We sanded down these walls over the last two days, but it looks incredible. So this process definitely is the most time consuming out of all the plasters I've used from Miyoda. The one in the kitchen actually is super quick. However, the finish in here, look at it. Like it is so beautiful. I'm actually about to start sealing it, which I'm excited about because I think it's gonna deepen the color just a bit. Kind of has a chalky finish to it since the same thing. We've already wiped it down two different times, like once last night and then once again this morning to get as much dust off as we can before sealing because I think the sealer is actually gonna bring out a little more of the texture um, and deepen the color slightly. This is what we're using. Gonna be applying this with a sponge. It's oil-based, so we let this dry all the way down and let's start applying the sealer. And thank you all so much for your comments on last video on what you would do to the ceiling. We are definitely keeping it light. Now this is bright white, so we're not keeping it this bright. Kind of gonna go a little lighter. I tested out this right here, which is Dimity in the um, breakfast nook, but something about it when it's next to the trim, which actually is right here, you can kind of see it. It just doesn't feel dark enough. It still kind of feels a little stark. And then over here, you can see it feels darker. And this is what the tripod's looking like after 
Three days of plastering and sanding. She's kind of thin. She's very thin. <laughs> So the only thing I've ever sealed before sealing the walls was the tile in my kitchen and it kind of created a very similar effect and what it does is it almost removes kind of the grout haze and any of the chalkiness that the wall has and it really just enhances like the natural essence of whatever it is. So if it's a tile, it enhances like some of the tile graining. If it's a wall like this, it enhances some of the movement um, and it also seals it and protects it from oil and water. It is a monumental moment in this room because we are about to pull up the paper, the red paper on the ground, which has been on the ground for probably like... <laughs> Was that a response on one of our items? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> which one? <laughs> let's see, is the chandelier available? <laughs> we need a chandelier for the room. Yes, it is available. Wait, which one? The cool one that you like. Should we show? Yeah, but I, need to, I, I don't remember which one. Oh, uh, this one is actually kind of good. Okay, might get that chandelier, might not, not sure. Anyways, we are going to pull up the paper on the ground, which I'm so excited because I just want to see the dark wood floors with the wall, with the ceiling. I probably should pull the camera back a little bit more. But it's actually the tab outside. It's like shocking. Look how good the walls look with the floor. I mean, they're still a little dusty, of course. We need to get some of this dust off. It looks so good. And the ceiling's still drying at the moment, so give that just a second. But oh my gosh, I love the color so, so much. So I got a chandelier this morning for Marie's room. It is Saturday and I was like, I'm going to go to a couple of antique shops and look around and I found the coolest chandelier and it actually was not a bad price. I thought it was gonna be like triple or quadruple what I was expecting to pay for it. And when I saw the price tag, I was like, oh, this is not too bad. And then it was also 25% off the entire store as well. So light fixtures are the jewelry of the room and this is the most So, Did it? Yeah. You guys, look at this light fixture. Oh, it's so cool. But I'm going to be taking off all of the dangling crystals, like all of the extra dangling, glimmering cut crystals I'm gonna take off because I only want like the glass arm tendrils and the chrome tops and then the base. Um, I think it's gonna be so, so cool. So I'm gonna go place this. Let it go. Yeah, you can like let it go. Oh yeah, no, that's like a perfect. That's stunned. Oh, yeah. oh my god! The moment of truth. Ready? Yeah. Yay! Woo! Gotta say, that was one of the easiest light installs I've ever done. It went up super quick and easy, and it looks great. I'm going to start taking off the crystals that I just don't really want on there. So let's start doing that. Yep, this is exactly what I was going for with the light. It looks so good. I just wanted the glass detail. It kind of adds like the tiniest bit of a postmodern touch while still keeping this kind of vintage vibe. I think it's gonna contrast so nicely with the other pieces. I'm about to bring in the bed. I wanna assemble the whole bed and then also add the nightstands in just so we could start getting some of the furniture in here to pick up some bulbs for the chandelier though. 
We got a very special package on a Saturday, which I'm so excited about. These are the panels for the curtains, which are actually Roman shades. I'm doing some bamboo shades. When I ordered my last set from Two Pages, they sent along a bunch of samples of their bamboo shades, which I didn't know they had. And oh my gosh, they were so beautiful. I was like, let's do bamboo shades in here, add a little bit more of that natural vibe since we are going super natural in this room. Here is one panel. The smallest one actually goes on this window that's inside the closet area, which still I haven't figured out what I'm gonna be painting in here. But look, so this will be mounted above and then you can just pull. They're so pretty too, you can leave them like half if you wanted to, just for like that kind of subtle daylight vibe. I'll put the number that I actually selected, the exact bamboo kind of makeup. But as you can see, it has these really pretty natural tones in there. And I just loved how the, the texture was different. They had like different slubby pieces and then they had more smaller pieces, which just makes for a really pretty overall shade. So these are gonna be the shades. They look so they look pretty simple to apply also. Ah, oh, it's literally so good. Oh my God, it's stunning. And look, just goes up for you. Oh, how far does it go down? All the way? All the way. Oh. These Roman shades from Two Pages are the easiest curtains I've ever installed in anything. I know they're a shade compared to a curtain, but they're just so simple. You just install the bracket on the left and the right side. So I just measured straight up from the window trim and I just measured up exactly how I had them custom made as well. So I went through the process on their website of entering the dimensions of the window and they let you know kind of what will look the best for your size of window. And then they get to you so quick, which is insane. I got these in like, a week or something like that and they look in freaking incredible in here i love the way that they look they add that natural element back and because the ceilings are coved in all the bedrooms it's hard to get that flush mounted curtain rod look to kind of make them look nice and tall so i feel like this is a great alternative Good morning! This room has been taking some time to just get all of the fine details like tuned in. Um, just making sure like the curtains are hung straight, all the edging is done, the plaster's perfect. I always see like little things and I'm going back and like touching them up for like an hour or two. So we are finally at the most exciting part which is decorating and I am actually going to be bringing the rug from my bedroom in here which is my favorite vintage rug find ever. I found this actually at Home Goods, you guys, a while back. Um, it was my first ever vintage rug I bought. So we're going to bring it in here. I am going to be putting it in Marie's room because I feel like it just fits a style in here. And I've had it for years in my bedroom. It's my favorite rug and I'm happy to see it in here. So let's bring it from my room into here. So 
that is a wrap on part two of Marie's bedroom makeover. I'm actually working all day today to get up part three, the final part and the reveal, all of the clips and photos, everything done by this Sunday for you guys. The process in here was definitely time consuming, but a thousand billion percent worth it. And you can see little bits of some accessories that I started bringing in, which are starting to tie this entire room together. So I hope to see you guys back here on the channel this Sunday, just a few days from now. And let me know in the comment section below how you're liking this room so far. Bye guys.